Hey guys, in the previous video I have taken up uh, an example uh, to show or to analyze how an output of an LTS system is actually called as convolution sum. Okay, and also I'll try to convince you why it is called as an LTI system uh, from this example. So in the previous example I had taken up a problem where the input uh, uh, to that LTI system was 1, 2, 3, 4 and the impulse response was 1, 2, 3. Okay, the sample at n equal to 0 is 2 for the input sequence and for the impulse response sample at n equal to 0 is 1. Fine, and I showed that x of n uh, in the prerequisite video of uh, convolution sum I told that x of n can be split up into uh, combination of time shifted and amplitude scaled version of unit impulse function which I did it here and I am calling it as x1 of n, x2 of n, x3 of n, x4 of n if I, if I add these four signals I should get x of n back the way I represented here right so this is x1 of n which is delta of n minus 1 and this is x2 of n 2 times delta of n and this is x3 of n 3 times delta of n minus 1 and this is x4 of n which is 2 times delta of n minus 2 and also I have showed you, uh, I have sketched the impulse response, impulse response h of n which is 1, 2, 3 here. Uh, in the previous video I said that uh, we, we are going to pass these individual uh, signals to the system represented with an impulse response of 1, 2, 3, right? So we will do that, we will continue with the previous video. So what I do, I will pass this sequence which is x1 of n to a system which has an impulse response of h of n. Okay. And what is the output I get? y1 of n. Since the input is x1 of n, output is y1 of n. Which is equal to what? Transformation of x1 of n, right? So transformation of x1 of n which is equal to transformation of what is x1 of n? x1 of n is delta of n plus 1 so which is equal to what is the transformation of delta of n plus 1? what is transformation of delta of n? it is nothing but h of n, right? so input sequence is delta of n output is the response of the system and the input is unit impulse function which is impulse response h of n so therefore what is transformation of delta of n plus 1? Which is nothing but h of n plus 1. Okay. So this is h of n plus 1. So the output y1 of n to the input x1 of n is h of n plus 1. Okay. So we, we know h of n. How do we get h of n plus 1? We have to shift it left one time, right? Minus 1, 0, 1, 2. So this is shifted left one time. So this is at n equal to minus 1, n equal to 0, n equal to 1, 1, 2, 3. So this is y1 of n. Fine. So input x1 of n results in output y1, y1 of n, something like this. Now I'll feed the next, see, see, uh, next input x2 of n to the same system h1 of n. And what is the output we get? Y2 of n, which is equal to what? Transformation of x2 of n, transformation of the input x2 of n, which is equal to transformation of what is the input? 2 times delta of n, 2 times delta of n, right? And what is this? What is the transformation of 2 times delta of n? It is nothing but 2 times h of n. Fine. So if I know h of n, what, how do we get 2 times h of n? It's amplitude scaled by a factor of 2, right? minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So at n equal to 0 it is 1. So now I have to scale it by a factor of 2. At n equal to 1 it is 2. I have to scale it by a factor of 4. At n equal to 2 it is 3. I have to scale it by a factor of 6. This is y2 of n. For the input, x2 of n. 
Uh, now I'll apply the next input which is x3 of n to the same system h of n. So what we get is y3 of n and what is y3 of n? Transformation of x3 of n which is equal to transformation of what is x3 of n? 3 times delta of n minus 1. 3 times delta of n minus 1. And this is nothing but 3 times h of n minus 1. We know h of n. How do we get 3 times h of n minus 1? Shift h of n sequence right one time because it is minus 1 and uh, scale its amplitude by 3. So, what do we get? So minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. I have to shift it right how many times? One time. So, at and I have to scale by 3. So, this goes to 1 and it is its amplitude is 3. And this goes to 2 and its amplitude is 6. And this goes to 3 and its amplitude is 9. So I have to scale the amplitude by a factor of 3. So this is the output y3 of n for the input x3 of n. So similarly, I have to pass the sig sig signal x4 of n the same system. So what I get is y4 of n which is equal to transformation of x4 of n which is equal to transformation of this 2 times delta of n minus 2 and what is transformation of 2 times delta of n minus 2? It is nothing but 2 times h of n minus 2. So how do we get 2 times h of n minus 2? If this is our h of n, so h of n shifted right 2 times and its amplitude scaled by factor 2. So minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this goes to 1, 2, 2. And its amplitude is 2. Right? This goes the second amplitude goes to 3 and its amplitude is 4. The third goes to 4 and amplitude is 6. If I had some more samples, so that could be that would be x5, x, x6, x7, and so on. Correspondingly, I will be getting y5, y6, y7, and so on. Fine. Now, what is the final output? Final output is y of n is equal to y1 of n plus y2 of n plus y3 of n plus y4 of n. So I have to add up all this individual output. So if I add all those individual output, so minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So y1 of n plus y2 of n plus y3 of n plus y4 of n. At n equal to minus 1, amplitude of the first signal is 2. Is it 2? Sorry. So 1 plus this is 0 plus 0 and plus 0. So it is 1. At n equal to 0, amplitude of the first signal is 2, amplitude of the second signal is 2, and third signal is 0, fourth signal is 0. It is 2 plus 2 is 4. At n equal to 1, this is 3 plus 3 plus uh, 4, 3 plus 4 is 3, 4. 3, this is 0. So, 4 plus 3, 7, 7 plus 3 is 10. So, this is somewhere 10. So, at n is equal to 2, this is 0. Uh, 6 plus 6, 12 is 14. So, this is 14. At n equal to 2, it is 14. At n equal to 3, it is 0. This is 0. This is 9. And this is 4. 9 plus 4 is 13. Somewhere here 13. And at n equal to 4, this is 0, this is 0, this is 0, and this is 6. Somewhere here it is 6. This is not as per the scale, but you get it, right? So therefore, therefore, so y of n is this sequence. So let me put it in a sequence. y of n is equal to what? So it is 1, 4, comma 10 comma 14 comma 13 comma 6 
and that sample at n equal to 0 is 4. So this is the output of an LTI system. Uh, the thing is there was a linearity property happening in this process and there was a time shift ha a property was happening in this process. Uh, can you identify where was the uh, time shift process was happening? So here, so input is shifted left one time. Okay, accordingly the output is also shifted left one time. Right? So input is scaled by a factor of 2, accordingly output is also scaled by a factor of 2. Input is shifted right one time and amplitude is scaled by a factor of 2. Output is also shifted right one time and amplitude is scaled by a factor of 2. Similarly, input is shifted by factor of 2 and amplitude is scaled by a factor of 2. Okay. So output is also shifted to and scaled to. So two properties which was which is uh, linearity property and time shift property was happening in the solving process. So that's the reason we call it as uh, we call this system as LTI system. Okay, a system which satisfies linearity and time shift property. Fine. Now, uh, let me give you uh, just for, for the cross check. When you are done with this problem, if you want to cross check it, I have an easy method to get the convolution sum, which I will tell you. So what was the sequence we had? X1 of n was equal to so 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 2, right? And what was h of n? h of n was 1 comma 2 comma 3. So the easy method to solve this is what you do, you one of the sequence you keep it in row, which is like this 1, 2, 3, 2, and the other sequence you keep it in column, which is 1, 2, 3. So 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, and the column 1, 2, 3. Any sequence you can take it as row or as column. Now what you do, you just multiply the sequence. 1 into 1 is 1, 1 into 2 is 2, 1 into 3 is 3, 1 into 2 is 2. So 2 into 1 is 2, 2 into 2 is 4, 2 into 2 3 is 6, 2 into 2 is 4. And 3 into 1 is 3, 3 into 2 is 6, 9 and 6. Now you add these diagonal elements. So therefore y of n is equal to first sample is 1, second sample is 2 plus 2 is 4, and third sample is 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 4 is 10, and fourth sample is 6 plus 6 is 12 plus 2 is 14, and fifth sample is 9 plus 4 is 13, and the last sample is 6. This is what we got now 1, 4, 10, 14, 13, 6. 1, 4, 10, 14, 13, 6. 